power corrupts but absolute power corrupts absolutely i'd like to start the very first class of class 12th with this quote because this is relatable to the text the last lesson which is the very first lesson of class 12th from the first book which is flamingo and the text is written by alphonse duda it's so ironic that the first lesson of the class is the last lesson but the story is very heart wrenching and evokes our conscience to check our deeds whether the task that we are doing right now is to be continued or we need to refine our deeds so to start the chapter we need to understand the introduction and uh, introduction won't be clear unless and until we go into history history is particular chapter that is franco prussian war in this war alsace and lorraine these two very prominent provinces of france which were very much rich in uh, iron ore and iron industries were taken by german or prussian troops after the acquisition of these two provinces that is L alsace and lorraine to german authority how the life of alsacians changed we will see in this story but before that let me discuss few points which are left from introduction our second point of introduction is absolute power corrupts absolutely if somebody is given whole power or 100% power it's not necessary that they are going to use it judiciously that particular person is going to be a dictator is going to be authoritative and out of his whims and fancies he is going to implement uh, the rules and regulations and that is where the problem lies third point states linguistic chauvinism or language chauvinism chauvinism means to take excessive pride in something and here it is linguistic chauvinism so it means taking excessive pride in one's own language okay if they are not tolerable to others language if they prioritize their own language that is chauvinistic attitude fourth point states if a country is uh, invaded by outside force at that point of time they lose their freedom and that is very obvious and another very important point is that they lose their identity they won't be able to follow the culture they won't be able to follow the rituals they they will be totally under another uh, power whatever they will order the person the, the suppressed person has to obey let's move to the next point now and it is theme the main theme of the story is procrastination see this is human nature to procrastinate things for tomorrow and we know tomorrow never dies we keep on piling up our work for tomorrow and we never complete that and we don't know when our doomsday going to arrive on that day we are not going to get any time for completing our task therefore whatever plans we have made we should accomplish it today itself the next point from the theme is brutality of war see the person who is victorious in the war they are going to become very insensitive they will act in such a manner there is no we will find no trace of humanity in them because people are displaced people's properties are destroyed people are separated from their near and dear ones beloved ones and much more therefore it shows brutality of war let's come to the protagonist section and here particularly we find two protagonists number 1 is m hamel the teacher and number 2 franz the student m hamel is a very strict teacher he is a hard task master he is very dominating upon his uh, students but he is a guide and a philosopher as well just like an ideal teacher because 
whatever he did to his children it was to shape students career only and very importantly he was a true patriot he loved his country from the core of his heart and he was very dedicated teacher friends friends was a student of m hamel he used to avoid his obligations he was a shikar he was a truant who used to bunk the classes he was very careless but he realizes at last his fault he becomes very guilty he understands that what he had lost in these days and when he realizes it was too late before we go into the line wise explanation let me tell you students the word meaning i have written within bracket in blue ink so that it will be very easy to understand so that you don't have to uh, look into the dictionary and another very important thing is that the phrases or the lines which are in bold letters in bold form rather these are very important and it and uh, it is asked in the question uh, examinations regularly therefore please focus on that let me start with the explanation now i started for school very late that morning and was in great dread of a scolding especially because m hamel had said that he would question us on participles and i did not know the first word about them here the protagonist is franz the student of m hamel he was approaching towards the school but he did not complete his homework on participle therefore he was extremely fearful to go to school because the teacher was very strict for a moment i thought of running away and spending the day out of doors it was so warm so bright the birds were chirping at the edge of the woods and in the open field back of the sawmill the prussian soldiers were drilling it was all much more tempting than the rules of participles but i had the strength to resist and hurried off to school here he was tempted by so many things nature he was tempted by prussian drills but at that point of time he did not realize that why these prussian troops were drilling in their area when i passed the town hall there was a crowd in front of the bulletin board for the last two years all our bad news had come from there the lost battles the draft the orders of commanding officer and i thought to myself without stopping what can be the matter now see here franz was stopped by a huge crowd in the town hall because there only all the news regarding war used to come in the notice board every information regarding the war used to be written therefore and all the news um that he received was not good at all therefore he was thinking that what could be the next bad news now but without giving any attention he started moving towards the school because he was already late then as i hurried as fast as i could go the blacksmith watcher who was there with his apprentice reading the bulletin called after me don't go so fast bub you will get to your school in plenty of time watcher made a sarcastic remark because he had already read the bulletin that from the next day there won't be any french classes in alsace provinces alsace province therefore he said there is no, there is plenty of time now there won't be any school there won't be any classes so he will have ample of time to go to school therefore it was a sarcastic remark i thought he was making fun of me and reached im hamel's little garden all out of breath usually when school began there was a great bustle which could be heard out in the street the opening and closing of desks lessons repeated in unison 
very loud with our hands over our ears to understand better and the teacher's great ruler rapping on the table here we get to see that little franz was totally surprised by the condition of the school it is because generally there used to be huge commotion in the school children used to learn their lessons teachers used to rap their scale on the desk in order to scare children and make them learn but that very day it was all different what had happened let us read further and we will understand but now it was all so still i had counted on the commotion to get to my desk without being seen but of course that day everything had to be as quiet as sunday morning on other days when uh, little franz used to be late he used to get into the classroom so stealthily that teacher could not notice but today it was not so because there was no noise at all there was no commotion at all uh, so that he could enter into the classroom stealthily therefore the teacher m hamel noticed him but he was so polite he was so kind that day through the window i saw my classmates already in their places and m hamel walking up and down with his terrible iron ruler under his arm i had to open the door and go in before everybody you can imagine how i blushed and how frightened i i was here it is understood that franz did not get chance to get into the classroom stealthily therefore he had to go from the front of his teacher but it was so unusual because m hamel who was cranky teacher who was very rude had become polite and soft on that very day so this surprised franz a lot he quietly went to his seat and sat there let's move towards text now i jumped over the bench and sat down at my desk not till then when i had got a little over my fright did i see that our teacher had on his beautiful green coat his frilled shirt and the little black silk cap all embroidered and he never wore except on inspection and prize days here uh, when franz sat calmly when his fright had gone when his fear had gone he was relaxed now and he looked around and looked at his teacher as well and then something uh, surprising he got to notice and that was his dress he was beautifully dressed on that very day he was wearing a silk cap he was wearing embroidered dress which he used to wear on inspection day it was because uh it was uh, he had done it for special purpose what was that we will learn let's continue from the text now besides the whole school seemed so strange and solemn but the thing that surprised me most was to see on the back benches that were always empty the school the village people sitting quietly like ourselves old hosser and his three cornered hat the former mayor the former postmaster the several other besides everybody looked sad and hosser had brought an old primer thumbed at the edges and he held it open on his knees with his great spectacles lying across the pages students this was another shock that franz had received that day uh that was when he looked at the back he could see the villagers the people who uh, were in position like postmaster uh, and other older villagers they were there at the back and not only that they were having primer a primary book with them and which was folded from the corner which was thumbed from the corner now why they were there at the back on that very day what had made them come to the classroom 
who were who had not studied till now we will see another very important point out here to be noticed is that uh, see here former mayor the former postmaster the word former says a lot it means that they are no more in their position for what reason we have to read further uh, dear students uh, one thing i want to tell you the video is uh, becoming very lengthy therefore i am dividing it into different parts so the first part i'll complete out here and i'll send you another video as well please wait for that thank you